today I'll be showing how to make your eGPU Razer Core X uh, box virtually silent with another mod. After upgrading my uh, video card to 6900 XT Radeon, um, the box became quite hot inside and the video card was uh, constantly uh, turning the fans on which are quite loud and I don't want that to happen in my environment. So I've, I've upgraded with the Noctua 140 millimeter uh, 800 rpm fan it's a low speed fan which is um, very quiet and uh, later on i'll show you i have installed a low, low noise adapter to make it virtually silent so let's get started with the process because this fan that i chose is much bigger than the old one the, the original fan is 120 millimeters this one is 140 millimeters um, so I couldn't mount it on the bracket and actually I didn't want it to mount, mount it on the bracket because the bracket will stop uh, the airflow to some extent. And so I mounted it directly to the cart, if I can say it. The, it's where everything is mounted inside the Core X. What you will need for the job is your drill bit tool set, electric screwdriver and some Phillip bits. So the first thing, measure exactly where the holes are. I started with a small hole and going up and up until the screw can comfortably go go through because there's not much space uh, as you can see there'll be a millimeter or two once you're done once you're done with the drilling you will mount the fan to the chassis um, on the right i have my upgraded power supply it's a smaller power supply than the original power supply inside the core x um, but you can see the fan on the left is huge there will be enough space in the box for that uh, uh, screw head to go through so no issues mounting it back into the box. This is how the fan will look inside uh, the box once closed. Pretty huge but the opening is enough uh, for the hot air to come out. Because the fan is 12 volt and the power board of the Corex supplies only 5 volt for the fan. I'm not going to be using the 3 pin connector on the board. I'm connecting the fan directly to the power supply by using the supplied 4 to 3 pin adapter. And now the fan is connected directly to the 12 volt output on the power supply. Now that we don't have the mounting bracket for the fan, as you can see, there is plenty of space for the wires and uh, plenty of space for the air to flow. After mounting everything and testing it, I still wasn't satisfied with the noise level. So I used the low noise adapter supplied again with the fan, which uh, enables me to turn the speed down even more to 650 RPM. And now the fan is virtually uh, silent. So let me give you some uh, figures. Before I did the fan mod, um, I was running the box without a fan completely. A case fan. So the temperatures were hitting 60 degrees with the new video card so and the video cards fan fans will kick on and I don't, didn't like that so after the mold um, the temperatures actually stay below 50 degrees Celsius so we're going from 60 down to 50 degrees Celsius even around if we have to be precise it's around 44 47 48 that was all it did and uh, the video card stayed very quiet uh, even as I'm doing this video edit the fans of the video card never kicked on so I'm pretty happy with the setup so that is all uh, if you like the video please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you